If you want to buy cheap FIFA 20 Ultimate Team coins, go and check out MMOPO.com and use the discount code EGHD for 8% off your order. Yes guys, welcome back to episode 4 of the Road to Glory. As you can see, we are still here with our Italian squad. If you missed the last episode, we actually completed one of the Icon Swaps challenges. We managed to complete the three Lions, which was a little bit of a struggle towards the end. But we've done it anyway, and also the icon swaps, we are two out of six of the way there. Now, for once, I'm actually recording this video on time. So it's currently quarter to 5 p.m., and obviously I'm going to stick the 90-minute clock on in just a second. That means we're going to go over the 6 p.m. mark, and we're going to see what the new content is, and hopefully this episode will be out in your sub boxes between 7 and 8 p.m. That's my goal for this episode. Anyway, guys, we've started the time. We've got 90 minutes on the clock. We're going to go straight into it today. No waiting about. Um, so if we quickly have a look at some of the objectives and have a look at what I want to complete today. So on week two and from week three gold, we haven't completed anything and we are currently 6,000 points roughly away from Kazula, which is currently my goal. I want to get Kazula. He's a very good card and we can definitely use him in the future for first owner challenges. So we've got a score using Bundesliga players in three rivals matches. I don't have many Bundesliga players. I might buy one to sub on. Fireworks, the bicycle kick one is very difficult. We're going to try that again uh, when we do some squad battles. I think we'll either do some squad battles at the end of today's episode or tomorrow's episode because we only have two days two or three days left with the icon swap squad battles challenges so i want to get the italian one done keep a clean sheet in rivals using max three defenders in your starting squad so basically what i'm going to do i'm going to use four at the back but i'm going to use either a left mid or a right mid in the left and right back position it depends how i'm going to build the team and that is for 1650 xp which is a lot of xp Win two squad battles matches on professional difficulty minimum. We can do that again with our Italian squad. Win a rivals match using a starting squad containing at least one player from all the top five leagues. Basically, Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A, La Liga and League One. 1430 XP so we can actually get about three challenges in one game if we have a really successful game and then onto week three gold assist and score in the same match in two rivals matches using players with minimum four star skills now a lot of the players I like to choose are four star skills so that should be something that we get naturally we only need to do that twice assist and score in the same rivals matches with midfielders so hopefully I can get out of Isco if I sub someone in the cam position because he's a midfielder he should be able to get an assist and if he scores that will be the challenge done assist and score in the same rivals match using a minimum shooting rating of 82 now that's very difficult because i don't have many high rated players but i do have one player which we packed yesterday the polish striker he has very good shooting stats assist two and score two in the same squad battles matches professional difficulty using at least four Serie A players so that is perfect for our italian team and then lastly earn 1500 rivals points so what we're going to do we're going to jump into some squad battles i'm going to try and build a team we've got just under 10,000 coins actually to build a team to try and complete as many of those rival challenges as possible so using players in the club I've actually come up with this team now obviously not everybody is going to get chemistry but it doesn't really matter now what I'm thinking is if I go for Vinicius Jr left wing that will get um, chemistry obviously with Brazil on Mendes and then left back if I go for Wendell that is a Bundesliga player and then finally in goal I'll go for someone like Fabianski to get a strong link with Ogbonna now I know Ogbonna is not a very good defender but it does tie everybody in we've got a Premier League player we've got a La Liga player we've got a League One player Bundesliga and Serie A. So we've got that challenge. All we need to do is win with this team. Obviously, I'm going to make some substitutes. So we'll sub on Cam um, Isco. And we'll also sub on Milik, who has 85 shooting. So all I need to do is score. I think score and assist with him. Yeah, so all I need to do is uh, score a goal and assist with Milik. And uh, basically, he's going to be like a really crappy kind of Suarez. In a sense, like, he's not got very good dribbling. His passing is terrible. But he's got good shooting. A bit of strength on him. It could be a bit of a struggle. But hopefully, he just has a game where we, we just play well. Now, obviously, I need to buy the last three players. I've got just under 10,000 coins, so this should work just fine. Also, I'm using this player here, uh, the Italian player, in the right-back position so that I only have three defenders in my defence, meaning if I keep a clean sheet, I also get XP for doing that as well. And then also Wendell. Now, the thing is, we've actually played pretty much all of our games so far with no chemistry styles on any, any of my players. I'm so used to using Hunter and Shadow on pretty much everything. But when I have such a little amount of coins, I really don't have that option. So, But to be fair, that is all part of the series. Now, I think this should give us quite... It's, it's not bad. Like, 84 chemistry is not bad. As I said, we're going to try and double up on a lot of these challenges. And once I've completed those challenges, I can, like, replace some of these players for better players and get more chemistry in the team. But if we can try and just get like three to four or five like challenges in one game that would be insane now actually i could substitute on a bundesliga player to score bundesliga goals as well now personally i don't know a better goal scorer than timo Werner. for the price this guy is an absolute bargain and there you go we've got one with a sniper which is exactly what i want as well so i like him with a sniper obviously he's being subbed on so he doesn't get the max chem style boost wow okay so 
We're playing against Neymar. That's literally all I saw on that screen. Uh, that's that's all I need to see to know that I need to take this game seriously. Ogbonna with his 58 pace is not going to catch up, is he? He's going to pass it across. Yep. Oh, good save, Fabianski. Oh, wow. Isco, what a run. Come on, son. Oh, Milik. Got to try and score with you. Near post. Whew, he's got good shooting. It's just so stiff. That wasn't even on target, so I don't know why I'm saying he's got good shooting. All right, Milik. You've got, have you got decent free kicks? You do have decent free kicks. But I don't trust you to score, so we're going to try and lay you off. Okay, let's see what your ball control's like. <laughs> oh my god. They just went through his legs. Why can't I just tap it? Why does it like ping out what pass? Like, this team is so bad defensively. Look at this. He can just walk through. Yeah, that's the clean sheet out the window. Yes. Big boy. Oh, Milik's done it. Thank God. Does that mean I just need to get an assist with Milik now? And then I've done that challenge. I don't even need to win this game, I don't think. I don't know if I had to win, assist and score. I think I just need to assist and score with someone with 85 shooting. Also, it's got four-star skills, so that counts too. Oh, mate. So close to threading that ball through. Come on, Milik. Look at that strength. Oh, no. Yes, yeah, a goal. I even put a tackle forward, but it just went to the wrong area. This guy's team's too good. I need to, I need to get like Milik out my team. I just need to complete this 85 shooting challenge. Oh, what a play, Isco. How, how has he not scored, man? Isco's finishing is terrible. That would have been the challenge complete, I think, for the Spanish. Like, get an assist with, uh, and goal with Spanish players. So we lost that game 3-1. Uh, it was actually really close. Um, obviously, I went really attacking constant pressure right at the end. But I think I would have won that game if it wasn't for Milik. So many of my attacks broke down because he's so stiff and not very agile. So I think I might have to forget about that challenge for now and complete some of the others to make that one easier. I can just sub him on when I know I'm playing someone worse. Still quite a long way away from our weekend league qualification. And uh, div rival points about 1100. So we should come up against someone quite a little bit weaker. I need to make sure. So we've got rival rewards tomorrow morning. I need to make sure that we remain in uh, rank three because the rewards should be pretty good, especially for my club since I've got like no coins. All right. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy Joe Gomez and I'm not gonna sub on Milik. Um, yeah, I'm gonna sub on um, Isco to complete the Spanish goal and assist. Uh, Werner for the Bundesliga goal. And, uh, yeah, Gomez is going to be for the challenge. Well, just to sub one for Ogbonna because Ogbonna is actually really, really bad. So 58 pace is just, he's so slow. All right, so this time we've got play the month for Lewandowski. Um, that was from the start of this game. Like, like, I don't know why he's got that completed. He's also got one icon. I think this guy doesn't play a lot of FIFA, just judging by his team. I'm on Delph. Lay him off. Morata. Oh. Yes, Morata. Shoot. That's a Spanish goal, I'll take that. I don't know if he has four-star skills, but we only need to assist one goal now with a Spanish player in this game. Oh my God, why can't I select my left back? Don't score. <gasps> that is such bad defending. I actually apologise. For everyone that just saw that, I apologise. I don't know why it just didn't switch over to my left back and uh, kickoff was in full action there. Yes, let's go. He can't finish. I swear, man, he can't finish. Uh, what's his finishing? I need to see it. 79 finishing, 69 shot power. It might be his shot power, but I don't know, man. Come on. Yes, Carlos. No. Oh, it's Lewandowski. Oh, my God. I'm actually going to give him a clap for that. I'm actually going to give him a clap for that. That was, a, that was an insane finish. That was the best thing he could have done there. I'm a little bit disappointed that um, Carlos didn't push him off the ball. But then again, I realised it was Lewandowski. I know he's very strong. But that was a finish and a half. Oh, no way. I wish I had better quality for that. Cause I, I... Here we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Really? Really, guys? Really, guys? Like, I can applaud a good goal. That wasn't particularly a good goal. That was just me not having good enough players. Like, how's he shot through it? Literally, look how many players he shot through. And then, the fin like, the, the actual goalkeeper himself just flopped at it, man. I think that's that. I think that's just ruined my chance of getting a lot of the challenges. Because if I need to win games, I need to score, like, three more goals. So, all right, guys. We're currently, like, 73 minutes into this game. I'm going to quit out of this game. And the reason why I'm going to lose rival points, I'm only going to miss out on 150, or is it, like, 200 rival points? points for my division 
Uh, I'm not going to be able to complete any challenges from this game because I need rival wins. I've only got one goal. I don't have any assists with the Spanish players. So I think it's best for me to just quit out this game. I know I don't want this to be a regular thing in this series, but occasionally we're going to need to be the really time productive. 47 minutes left of this episode, so we need to make up some time here. Also, for clarification, you do need to get a, a win when you score with Spanish players to get the Iniesta. Also, a good thing about quitting that game was I actually don't lose any fitness on my players. Um, oh, man, look at this team. He's got David Luiz. He paid like 500k for David Luiz. This guy is going to be a sweaty guy. I can tell already, man. Look what's happening. Literally two minutes into the game, and he's passing around the back. All right, we've subbed on the big boys. He's, he's run it back, you know, just, just to make sure his players are in position. He doesn't want to go on an attack without all four of his attackers there. How has he made that pass? I'm sorry, but he he accidentally passed Mbappe there instead of Salah, and he scored. Wow, guys, I'm I'm in a bit I'm a bit of a pickle here because this guy he's beating me one nil, but he's not very good. The problem is if I get another goal back, then he's going to be passing around the back. I can just tell already like this guy is a really crappy person to be playing against. And it's going to be so hard for me to complete challenges with someone like that. I need to play someone that's attacking me. But I've got 38 minutes and I'm halfway through. So I'm thinking if I can just bang two goals. Oh man, I can't get past him because he's got five men and against one or two of mine. This guy is actually woeful. Like He was in, in the attacking position, but he passed it to Kante. Like, he's, he's, for someone... With the team that he has, he's one of the worst players about to play against. So I'm going to have to quit. I'm sorry I'm getting a bit a bit annoyed here, but I'm going to have to quit again. All right, guys. We've almost spent an hour on this episode. We've played three matches, and we've had to quit out two of them. It seems like it's been unproductive, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that one game where we're playing someone that's actually in Division 5, or it's a fair opponent where they haven't relegated with a god squad, like a really good team. And all I need is that one good game and I'm going to get like 4,000 XP in one game or something because I've got so many different challenges set up for this one team here. If I don't get a win out of this game, guys, I'm going to have to play a squad battles game with the Italian squad. I can't have a whole episode where I feel like I've done nothing to progress my team. All right, guys, please pray for me that this guy is not someone that's got a good squad. Okay, he's doing objectives. He's doing the English objectives. Objectives, sorry. And he could still be a good player just using a very bad team. Hopefully, he's not. Here we go. Someone make a run, Vidal. Near post. Yes, we've got the goal. We're, at least we're 1-0 up. If he, if he scores against me, I've still got other objectives I can complete. Even though it's Vidal, it's not a Spanish player. Does he have four-star skills? Oh, he has a four-star weak foot. That would have been nice. Guys, I've just scored a Werner. I can't show you the goal because I had the game paused and it shows my game attack. But for some reason... Gomez is playing Cam and Isco is flipping centre-back. I don't know what's happened there with my team. So far, we've got a clean sheet. And if we can win with this team of random players, we can start to mix up and bolster up our team a bit better. That's a good play. He's going to try and sweat it across. Gomez, hold your... Oh, straight to him. Lucky, 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 lucky. Yes, Werner. Oh, he got stopped. Oh... I think this guy is like on the verge of quitting. Like I think he said to himself, if I score one more, he'll quit. That's a, a Spanish fruit. Come on, Isco. Yes, Isco scored. This might be a rage quit. I think I'm about to get a rage quit. Why aren't you quitting? Yes. All right, guys. We absolutely smashed it in that game. Even Isco finished. Let's see how many challenges we unlocked. 5,940 XP, seven challenges. I didn't think we'd get that much in one game. Oh my God. Jesus, we've just done it. We've... Ah. Oh. So it was all worth it. We quit out of three games. We lost those three games. It looked like this episode was going to be a bad episode because I wasn't playing well. I wasn't getting the wins. But all it come down to is that one game where we just played out our skin and we managed to get the frosty football. But no, finally, guys, that is a big one. Uh, Kasanti Kazola. I really like this player. Obviously, I'm an Arsenal supporter. So the fact that Santi Kazola is actually a usable player in this game is going to be good. I can't wait to use him for like some kind of first owner objective in the future. Five star skills, five star weak foot. He's actually got 70 defendants. That's actually not bad. I actually think his stats here are pretty decent. Like his stamina, though, 67 stamina. I didn't realize his stamina was really low. 
realistically, for a special card like this, they should have made it like low 70s or mid 70s, not 67. That's really, really bad. But we've done it, and we've also got some milestones as well. Rivals, 10 rival wins, so that's a two-player pack. It's our another team of the year pack. It's not going to be a walkout. I think it's, uh, yep, so Spanish, CDM, uh, Ill no, Illuramendi, what's the other one called? Oh, it is Illuramendi. I thought Illuramendi was a centre mid, but got it right. So let's see what objectives we actually completed there. So we completed two out of week two gold and two out of week three. I still need to do the pass and shoot challenge with Milik unless we get another player that's got 82 shooting or above. Does Santi Cazorla get 82 shooting? So what, what else can I unlock then? So 2800 gives me a celebration, not interested in that. But I might be able to get this mega pack before the season closes then. Because I'm definitely not going to be able to get Batshuayi. He's just too far away. Also, uh, flashback Iniesta. We've got one out of two done. So that's because we scored with Isco. So we're going to try and score with Duelofueo or Isco. And try and get uh, flashback Iniesta for seven games. One assist as well. And one finesse using La Liga. So, you know what? Over the next two or three days or so, we'll see if it's actually possible for us to get Iniesta. But I'm not deliberately doing challenges for Iniesta. I'm just kind of like going with the flow. And if we actually get like two or three of them done then um, we could actually just aim to like complete the last couple of challenges for him. So as you can see, we've got this Team of the Year challenge. We get a mega pack. I don't know if I'll be able to do this because usually that means we're going to have some high requirements. So let's have a look. So Team of the Year challenge, overall rating 77, Team Chemistry 85, Leagues minimum 3, Netherlands player 1. That's actually very doable. For a mega pack, that's very good. Um, flashback Neuer, that was yesterday. 83 plus guaranteed. New Year's Premier League upgrade. What is this? So exchange a squad for a pack with 12 Premier League players. Three of them are rare. These are really, really, really important, guys. Because, obviously, for these first owner challenges, these are amazing. These are repeatable for five days. That means for the new batch of Icon Swaps tokens, you're going to have this SBC or these SBCs up. And if you need, like, League One players, you can just go into this and exchange a squad and get loads of first owner players for League One. Like, this is a great thing from EA. I like this, what they've done here. Let me just look at the requirements of one of these before I say it's good, though. So, rare players, exactly 11. Player quality, gold. Team chemistry, 45. So, basically, it's actually very easy and very cheap. You're just specifically getting players for the league that you want them for. Exchange squad for free Premier League players, one rare. Uh, so, these, so, they've got basically special ones, which are called New Year's ones. And then just normal upgrades. Hold on a second, guys. Hold on a second. So... You're telling me we could actually complete, win four rival matches using nine first owner La Liga players in your starting squad. We've actually already got a few. We've got Isco, we've got Cazorla, we've got Vidal. Most of the players here, apart from Junior, are first owners. So we're actually quite close to this. So what we can do is one of those SPCs. Okay, New Year's La Liga. Exchange a squad for a pack of 12 La Liga Santander players. And three of them are going to be rare. So I know for a fact I'm going to get enough first owners from doing this. So why not? Okay, so let's go for this guy right here. I think that will give us max chemistry now. So 49 chemistry. And let me just double check that we don't need these players. So, yeah. And what we're going to do, we're going to get a La Liga pack back from this. All of them will be first owner, of course. And that should actually let us start to complete La Liga challenges for the Rivals games. All right, here we go. Imagine if we actually packed Messi or something ridiculous. Okay, it's not a walkout, so it's not Messi. It's not even a board. What is it? It is... Oh, I thought that was going to be Carlos again. That would be a troll. But he's actually usable. So as a centre-back, I don't need to sub him off. Like 70 pace, 78 defending. That's good enough. Let's see what else we have in this pack. Diop, Nacho again. That's a usable left-back. We've got a right-back here, which we could start with. We can always sub on some players. Striker. We've got a lot of defenders here, actually. And they're all untradeable. But obviously, we can chuck these in for the mega pack. That was the team of the year challenge as well. So let's send them to the club. Let, let me let me double check. So this gives us an untradeable mega pack, which is obviously not as good as uh, obviously tradable, but it's still going to give us some stuff useful to, for the club. We're probably going to get a squad fitness, maybe maybe a chemistry style we can use. Um, so if we can do this for the fodder that's in our club, then we'll do it, and then we'll buy a goalkeeper. All right, guys. So we're kind of running out of players and running out of time. The time is going to go out any second now, so we're not going to be able to go into another game of FIFA, but. Um, the team of the year challenge, I, can, I can't I can actually complete it yet. This team of the year challenge is a little bit more difficult. Um, I need two more rares and I can't use um, too many players from the same league. I can use, only use maximum three. So I'm going to have to basically go onto the market and probably buy two or three players to be able to complete this SBC. And I don't have the coins for that right now because I only have 1,800 coins and we don't yet 
have a goalkeeper for our uh, La Liga team. So, all right, guys. So as you can see, this is my La Liga team. They are all um, first owner, apart from Duelo Fuego, who I bought off the market. Um, but we're still going to use him because he can still get max chemistry in this team as long as I have a Spanish manager which I don't, but I'll buy one next episode because we have run out of time and I'm not allowed to continue buying or doing SBCs or, or playing games if I've run out of time. But what we're going to do in the next episode, so we only have tomorrow, which is Thursday and Friday, to try and complete the online challenges for La Liga wins with this team. That should give us enough time to complete these wins. I also need to get goals and assists with four-star skillers, uh, with someone with 82 plus shooting. Now, Kozola has 84 shooting, so we're going to get some goals with him. But I'm already thinking... I'm probably not going to be able to complete the Italian objectives because we need to play four games for that. So we need to be very time efficient tomorrow. Maybe I should do these instead because I know I can get this token. Whereas if I take the risk on the La Liga games, I might get a lot of losses and might run out of time. Because I'm only allowed 90 minutes per episode and we've only got two more episodes left before these expire. But guys, I'm going to end the episode right now. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, always drop a like on the video. I appreciate it, especially if you get to the end of the video. It shows that you really enjoy it. And if you can drop a like, that'll be absolutely insane. So yeah, we're going to buy a goalkeeper at the start of next episode and see if we can get free tokens from the first six that have come out, which would be very impressive considering this has been like an RTG. But also tomorrow we'll have our rival rewards, which actually give us more coins. And we can upgrade this team. I just realised. All right, I'm waffling for too long now. We'll carry on next episode. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you subscribe. If you haven't already, make sure you turn on your notifications so that when these RTGs get uploaded, you just get notified. It, you, don't, you don't have to watch them all the time, but at least you get notified straight away. You can be the first to watch it. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.